so here I am doing this vlog thing trying to make this vlog thing happen you know for the past 10 years I've been trying to make this YouTube reality show happen you know this kind of vlog reality show and you know a lot has changed over the past 10 years This episode is brought to you by nobody. But do shop at my fan store. Link in the description below and support this channel. Anyway, now on with the episode. Nothing really scripted or anything. Some my opinions, you know, I'm be speaking my mind a lot, and you may not like a lot of the things I have to say, but I can see the nasty comments that some of you might be writing, might, or might want to write, you know. But you know, if you don't like what I'm saying, just don't watch, right? Yeah. Funny faces. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's a little silliness for you. <laughs> oh, okay, now you're just gonna see my mouth right here. <laughs> woo 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 woo. Ba ba ba. Super close up of my mouth. Super close up of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Zooming back. Zooming forward. <laughs> this feels like totally stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, peace. Yeah, I'm wearing this pot shirt. Yeah, maybe I'll smoke weed in a few videos. Yeah, maybe even better if I do this thing stoned, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it might be more interesting if I make my videos stoned. <laughs> YouTube's got to have their thing. And, you know, so what are my interests? Well, lots of things. You know, my interests are very diverse. So I just, just pick one thing to be my thing. Yeah. So, what 
is my YouTube channel going to be? It's going to be me. All of me. It's going to be some, like, internet reality show. That's part of the best way to put it. You know, it's like a YouTube internet reality show. Just lay out in the grass and just sit back and just think. And just, you know. As I was outside, I found this blank check just lying out there. You know, someone just signed their signature on the check. You know, see? And they just left it on the sidewalk. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, so I wrote out that check for $500. Seems like a fair amount, you know. And I'm about to head to the bank to cash it, so, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, success! Easy money, baby. Easy money. After that, I rode the subway to Union Square in Manhattan. to Washington Square Park. We're now in Washington Square Park. And here are these ladies playing soccer and tying. This is Tanya. I like things. They were they were Okay, so I was supposed to get some weed, some cannabis, from this guy, who I shall not name, because I don't want to get arrested. Just know that he is a he, and that's all you're going to know about him, alright? So anyway, so two weeks ago I got weed off him, and... It was even a hassle then, you know, because he kept saying, oh, because he kept putting it off and putting it off, you know, so I told him, you know, so, but I eventually did get the weed from him, but, so now it's two weeks ago, okay, and I told him, I'm going to be wanting more in two weeks, exactly two weeks, so he could have prepared. He could have, you know, made arrangements and plans to make, because he knew two weeks in advance that I was going to be wanting weed today. Alright? So, no excuses this time. Alright? Two weeks go by, and now he's saying that I've got to wait two more days. So today is now Wednesday, and now there's another problem. Basically, there's a problem with my bank, the bank, the Chase Bank. 
regarding the blind check that I cast. Yeah. Didn't see. Well, I sort of saw it coming, but. You know. But it, come on, it was a blank freaking check, right? It's fair game, right? You know? But, you know. What basically happened is the bank cleared the check, allowed me to spend the money, and then sort of reversed it. It's like, oh wait, no. It's like, alright, the check's cleared. Wait, no, it's not cleared. What? It's like, So, but well, you can't just reverse the check after I've already been spending the money, so, I mean, it's a blank freaking check, I mean, fair game, you know, or don't, and you know, they don't want people taking your money, they don't write your freaking signature on a check, and definitely don't leave a blank check on a freaking sidewalk, alright, I mean, that's just carelessness and stupidity. Well, today is the 4th of July. Yeah. Let me show you. Got my American flag. What? Yeah. America. Yeah. Looks like the sun's coming out. It's gonna be a good day after all. What for July, baby? Peace. I'm gonna show this good view of the Brooklyn Bridge around here. Right there is the Brooklyn Bridge. Behind this Manhattan Bridge. The Manhattan skyline right there. Across the river over there is Manhattan. Picture pocket and all the other skyline right there. Fireworks, including some really good Chastos Bridge fireworks. So, yeah. Due to issues with Chase Bank, uh, I'm about to open up a new bank account at the Bank of America. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Well, now that I've got that taken care of, next order of business is to dealer to try and get some cannabis to get high, so yeah. Not really a new dealer because this is getting ridiculous. 
And I wish it was just as easy as, you know, finding a new bank, you know, because... And it's all because of this stupid prohibition. Yeah, the so-called land of the free. You know, but you're still not allowed to smoke weed or get high, you know. And yeah, it's a prohibition. It didn't work with alcohol, and it's not working now. You know, it's not stopping me from getting high, it's making it more difficult. But, you know, just make it legal already, all right? Life, you know, just gotta live it, man. One day at a time. One day at a time. You know, you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow, you know, and yesterday's all gone, you know. You know, just learn from the past, live in the present, and, you know, try to make plans for the future, but. You know, things may happen that are unexpected and it might ruin everything. So really, all you have is today and who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. So yeah, live life one day at a time. Okay, so now the latest word on the weed is that he'll have it at 9 o'clock tonight. That's the latest word now. Okay, um, I'm about to contact my dealer again. Once again, yeah, I know. Just gotta keep trying until I get the weed. That's all I gotta do. Just gotta keep on persisting, so we might get another attempt. What is the lamest excuse ever? Answer, because it's raining. That's the reason why I can't get high tonight. Because it's fucking raining. Yeah. I mean, seriously, people, and I hear this excuse all the time from not just from drug dealers, but from everybody, you know. Oh, I don't want to go out because it's raining. I'm not doing this because it's raining. I'm not going there because it's raining. I'm not coming to work today because it's raining. Yeah. I hear it all the fucking time. People using rain as an excuse to just, you know, be lazy, you know, and yeah, because it's raining, that's the lamest fucking excuse ever, alright, really, people, stop using that fucking excuse, if you're one of those people that use that excuse, who's cops out because it's raining, you know, fuck you. I am now outside in the rain, welcome to the convenience store to get some beer. Yeah. But you see, I am not letting rain stop me. I don't let rain stop me from doing things. Taking a hint, and don't use rain as a fucking excuse. Yeah, I received word that the weed is finally available. About fucking time. Yeah. At about 11 p.m. that night, I went to an undisclosed location. And at about 11.20, yeah, baby. I got the weed and started getting high. Yeah, man. It's like the good times, man. I 
Sharks got a lot of loves, but something's got a lot of eyes. You know what? Siska, you know, live life, you know, get high every day you can, you know. Don't take anything for granted to do either, you know. Because, you know, some people will have it easier than others, you know. That's just the way life is, man. You know. Yeah, man. So, you know, just be grateful, you know, for what things you got, you know, because you never know, it's like, you know, well, what was I talking about? I was talking about, like, something, I don't know, must be like some kind of intellectual, like, stuff, I don't know. Yeah, sun's up now. Now it's like officially Thursday, yeah. It's a blood day, so yeah. So, what are my final thoughts on this? Um, what was I doing? Uh, um, It's great. So now I'm heading off to the dispensary to get some more weed. Just wait on the bus. So, yeah. All right, so the bus is running a little bit late as usual, you know. These buses, they run late, they run reliable. But three buses, you know. But still, yeah. I, I, it's good and bad, you know. It's good that the buses are free, but could it be a bit more reliable, you know? Got the drugs easily. You know? It is so easy to get this now that that's legal, you know. Ten years ago it was so hard to go through all kinds of shit to get this stuff. Now let's go store and buy it. Just gotta show my ID, I'll scan it a bit, then I go in there. Crossover. 
Yeah. Got across that crazy street. Also, it's starting to rain, but anyway, just gonna wait for the bus to take me home so I can smoke and get high. Yeah! And I am now on the bus. Heading home to smoke up. Yeah. Wedding cake. Yep, that's what this strain is called. Wedding cake. Ready to start smoking up. Yeah, good times. Yeah. You see, it is so easy to get weed now and get high, you know. Because like 10 years ago, it wasn't so easy, you know. 10 years ago, I was a different gender, had a different name, and things have so changed, you know. There's a lot of things, you know, that have changed over the past 10 years, but I'm still getting high. Yeah. In fact, I'm getting high more than ever before. And I'm also drinking less alcohol because, let's face it, this is my drug of choice, you know? I mean, I do still drink on occasions, but I get high more than I get drunk nowadays. Also, I don't really go into any bars anymore. I stopped going to bars after that pandemic happened. And yet, I've been going to bars, you know, all the way up until the time when the pandemic happened, then I just stopped going to bars, you know, because of the pandemic, you know.